Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crocheted stuffed bunny. Easter is right around the corner, and if you're looking for something to make for your child, or if you know of a child you want to make something for, the crocheted stuffed bunny is a hit. I have made one for both of my children and for many of my friends and family. For some reason, he is a favorite. The cute little pom-pom on the booty. He's nice and squishy, and there's something about a handmade item. I don't know what it is, but it gets kids super excited. So if you are looking for something this year for Easter, you're going to want to get started now, and that way you don't have to feel rushed when it comes to getting this little guy finished in time for that Easter basket. But definitely a winner. So let's go ahead and hop to it. All right, the materials that you're gonna want to use yarn-wise is any four-ply yarn that is smooth, no texture with this, okay? Do have a black version. I use the black yarn just to sew the buttons on the face. You're going to want a size F crochet hook or a 3.75 millimeter. I use this size because I want my stitches to be tight. I don't want any stuffing or polyfill to show through any of my stitches. So you will see when I go when I go over the tension part, uh, what I mean about wanting to make all of our stitches tight. So that's why I use a size F or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a yarn needle for when we attach the body together, the arms, the legs, the ears, and the head and the torso all together. You'll want the yarn needle for that. Depending on your buttons, you can pick whatever buttons you want. You personalize it however you want. I use this type of button just because it's what I'm used to using. I have a whole bunch of them and I can use, the buttonholes are big enough where I can use yarn to sew it onto the bunny. If you choose buttons where the holes are really teeny tiny and you have to use a smaller needle and thread, then go ahead and use those materials also, however you want to attach your buttons. And of course, whatever you're gonna use to stuff your bunny. And I use polyfill for my stuffed animals, but you can use whatever you prefer. Okay, let's go ahead and get to making the bunny. All right, when making the bunny, let's start with the head. It's just the easiest place to start. So go ahead and take your yarn and I am using my yarn tail as my row marker. So I usually give myself a long tail to start with. If you are using row markers, those little plastic row markers, then you don't need to give yourself such a long tail. Um, but I don't have row markers, so I'm going to do this method. I want to start my slip knot where I know there's going to be plenty of room for my head. So. Give yourself a decent four inches, four, possibly five inches before you start your slip knot. All right, insert the crochet hook. And like I said, I want my stitches to be tight with all of my stuffed animals. This, that's just how I make my stuffed animals with the stitches on the tight end. So make sure that your tension is going to be Again, loose on your size F or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Gonna chain two or magic ring. I'm just making a circle. I prefer the chain two method. Going to go into that first chain and I'm gonna put eight single crochets. So, just make sure you got that tight, guys. Eight. Awesome. All right. I am not going to join. I'm not doing the slip stitch chain one. I'm going to yarn over my tail, pull my tail through, and then I'm going to continue working in that first, in the top of that first single crochet of that row. Okay. I'm going to put two single crochets in each stitch. So I will have increased 
in each stitch and end with 16 single crochets. So one, same space, two, next space, put two, one, two, Fifteen, sixteen, perfect. So yarn over, pull through that last loop. That just indicates that row two is complete. Row three is going to be increase or put two single crochets in the first space, put one single crochet in the next space, and that'll be the repeating pattern. So then two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet. Okay. So the first space is going to be where this tail is sticking out of. Okay. So I am going to insert my crochet hook in that same spot. Yarn over, pull through. So first spot gets two. Next spot gets one. Perfect. Taking my tail, yarn and over, pull it through. All right, row four or round four because we are going in rounds. Round four is going to be increase in the first space and then one increase in the next two spaces. So we'll do two single crochets, one, one, then two, one, one and just repeat that pattern all the way around. We will end this row with a total of 32 single crochets. one and 32 fabulous okay yarn tail over pull that through we are now in row round five and in round five we will increase in the first and then single crochet in the next three and that's the new pattern so the first space we'll put two single crochets and then we'll do one 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 two one 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 all the way around and we will end this row with 40 single crochets here we go so increase or put two so one two in that same spot and then one in the next three Pull it through. Great. We are now in round six. Round six is going to be increase or put two and then single crochet in the next four. And that's the new pattern. So two and then one, 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 one. Okay. We will end this row with a total of 48 single crochets. So here we go.
Okay, guys, we have just finished round six. Now I am done increasing. I'm done growing the length of my beanie, my head size. I am now going to single crochet in each space around. So for round seven through round 14, each row is going to have one single crochet in each space. For rows seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I will meet you at the end of row 14 and we will go over the decreasing process or closing up the circular ball. Sound good? You totally got this. I will see you at the end of row 14. We are now ready for row 15. So we're going to take the first two spaces and we're going to decrease and then we will single crochet in the next four spaces. And this is what it will look like. So in the first space there of this row, insert your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to insert your crochet hook into the second space yarn over and pull through now you have three loops on your crochet hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops perfect now what you have done is you've turned two spaces into one and that's a decrease now we're going to single crochet in the next four spaces Four. Now repeat the process. We're going to decrease and then four single crochets. So next two spaces, pull up one, insert your hook into the next space. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Turn over and pull through all three. Perfect. One single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. And then over and pull through. Perfect, we have finished that row. We are now on to row 16, where we're going to do another decrease and then single crochet in the next three spaces. You will want your stitches to be tight. If you've noticed that these stitches are really tight without being to the point where you can't insert your, your crochet hook into the space, that makes the whole stuffed animal sturdy. It makes it so it holds its form. So now we're going to decrease again. Awesome. Okay, so this is going to be our last row for the head. And what we do is we're going to put a decrease and then we're going to do two single crochets. So it'll be decrease, then one, one. Decrease, one, one. And that's the new pattern. All right, we have just finished row 17, taking our marker tail all the way through. We end with row 17, which means we end with there being 24 stitches in our row, okay? That's gonna be important to know how many stitches we end with. That way we know when we make the torso part of the body, how many stitches need to be in the top of the torso part of the body that we attach to the bottom of the head. So I am going to cut off a long tail here that I will use to sew the two pieces together. There we go. Okay, 
I will take my needle and I will go ahead and insert into that first space, yarn over, pull through, and I'll slip stitch. I'll pull it all the way through that loop that was already on my hook, yarn over again, and pull that through my loop, pull, and I've just created a knot there so it stays put. I'm going to insert my crochet hook from the inside of that loop. Grab that yarn and pull it through. In the next space, I'm going to insert my crochet hook from the back. Grab that marker tail. Pull that one all the way through. Now both strings are coming into the inside of the work. So when I tie my knot, on the inside so I won't be able to see it from the outside of the wall. Perfect, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna just tuck that marker tail in there. Go ahead and smooth that out like there and that is going to be your head. Perfect. Now let's move on to the body. All right, when making the body, I'm going to go ahead and start with another row marker tail, because that's just what I do. If you have your row markers, go ahead and feel free to use those. The body portion is gonna be right around three inches long, so I wanna make sure I have at least three inches of tail here. And then I am going to put my slip knot right about there. It's okay if you have more yarn, if your tail is longer than you need, we can take care of that, not a problem. If your tail is shorter than you need, that's okay too, so don't worry about it. We will work around it. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make my tail short just so that way I can show you what happens if you put your tail marker a little too short. Okay, so doing our slip knot. Perfect. Uh, we are doing rounds. So I do the chain two method where I chain two. If you do the magic ring, do the magic ring. We are just working in a circular round. We are going to put eight single crochets in that first chain right there. Okay, so. And eight okay we've reached the end take our little tail row marker and pull it through that loop and we are going to continue straight on we are not going to slip stitch and chain one we're just going to continue on in row two we are going to increase across or put two single crochets in each space And one, two. Reach the end, take our tail marker, pull that through. <clears throat> right, for row three, we are going to increase in the first or put two single crochets in the first space and then put one single crochet in the next space and then repeat that process. Two, one, two, one. And at the end of row three, you should have 24 stitches. tail through space perfect okay with the body portion we are done with the increases now we are going to have every row is going to be a single crochet in every space across so row four through row 14 you are going to put one single crochet in each spot all the way through the end of row 14 okay so go ahead and work through this you got this and i will see you at the end of row 14. well okay i got to row 14 finished row 14 
and I still have this little bit of my marker tail left over. I could have swore that I was going to run out, but I didn't. So now that I've gotten to row 14, I'm going to actually measure out how big that body portion actually is. Just shy of three inches right there. So now we know when we are doing our marker tail just how much we need. But to my point, if I were to have grabbed too little of a marker tail there in the beginning, you would have just simply crocheted over the top of it, laid it flat, crocheted over the top of that remaining little bit of tail. And then if you see right here, you can identify where that marker tail traveled up the work. And you would just follow along with that with each row and be like, okay, I've now reached row 15, row 16. And that's how you would just continue to go up and up. I'm going to because I still have a little nub of the tail. Pull that through, pull my hook back in that loop. I'm going to slip stitch to close this off and then I'm gonna cut the yarn. So slip stitch you and grabbing my scissors. Because the head portion has the super long tail, I don't need a super long tail for the body portion. That would just be a waste. So grabbing that, pulling it through my loop, and that just creates the little knot right there. Perfect. And tie that together. Cool. Very cool. Okay, just tuck that in. It is gone now. Okay, so we have finished the body part and the head part of our bunny. Now we're gonna work on ears. Okay. Give myself a little tail, slip stitch. Okay, to start the ear, we are going to chain two we're going to do a round or do your magic ring. Put six single crochets in that first chain or inside your magic rings. Six. Tail through. Okay, round two is increase across. So put two single crochets in each space. Eleven and twelve. Row marker. All right, row three and four is just a single crochet in each space. Great, we are on to row five. Row five, we're going to decrease the first two spaces into one, and then we will put one single crochet in the next four, and then repeat, decrease, and then four single crochets. Four, beautiful. Okay, yarn over, pull through that, into that row. Okay, row around six through round 10 is just a single crochet in every space. So go ahead and put one single crochet in every space. There should be a total of 10 stitches in each row, and I will meet you at the end of round 10, okay? Keep going, you are doing a fantastic job. It's all coming together, yay. Great, we have finished round 10. Now what we're gonna do, we are going to cut off a long tail so we have enough yarn to sew this ear onto our bunny. Going to insert our crochet hook in that first space right there. Yarn over. 
and slip stitch it all the way through that loop. Yarn over, pull through. Great. Gonna come in the back, that same stitch. Pull that yarn into the inside of the work. Go to the next stitch over, insert. Pull our little tail through and tie a knot on the inside. You're going to repeat this process again because obviously a bunny needs two ears, not just one. If you want, you can follow the notes. I put the pattern in the notes section below if you don't want to just rewind and follow along or you can simply do so and just rewind, follow along and make your second ear. Perfect. When you come back, we will get started on the arms. Yay, cool, see you soon. Great, we are ready for the arms. Take your yarn, marker tail, slip knot, or magic ring. Okay, slip knot and then either do a magic ring or your chain two, I do the chain two. We are going to put five single crochets in that first chain or inside your magic ring. five, yarn over and pull through. Row two or round two, you're going to increase across. So put two single crochets in each spot, which means we are going to end with 10 stitches for round two. Great. Yarn over, pull through. Round three through 11 is just one single crochet in each space. So for round three through the end of round 11, go ahead and just put one single crochet. All right, just ended round 11. Gonna yarn that over, pull it through. Stick that needle back into the loop. We're going to cut off a long tail again so we can attach the arm to the body and slip stitch in that first space. Yarn over, pull through. Great, you're gonna to want to make a second arm also because obviously we need two arms. Again, if you want to, you can just follow my notes the pattern in the notes section below, or you can rewind and repeat this whole video process, whichever works best for you, go for it. And I will see you once you are done making your second arm. So we can start on the legs. We are so close, oh my gosh, so exciting. All right guys, we finished that second arm. We are now on to the last steps of the bunny and that is the legs. Of course, we gotta make the little pom-pom tail, but for the actual structure of the bunny, the leg is the last part. Go ahead and slip knot, leaving yourself your row counting chain. There we go. Chain two or magic ring. And we're gonna put six single crochets in that first chain. All right, go ahead and pull through. Row two is going to be an increase in every stitch across. So two single crochets in every stitch across. You will end with 12 single crochets. Watch my tension here. Yes, it's a little tough to get in the stitches, but I am making sure everything is tight. Okay, so that's one. Go ahead and yarn over, pull through the tail. We are now in row three. Round three, four, and five is just a single crochet in each space around. So go ahead and put one single crochet in each space for the next 
three rows for row three, row four, row five. All right, end of round five, perfect. Round six is going to be a decrease in the first two stitches and then four single crochets. Okay, that's the end of round six. Round seven, eight, and nine is just a single crochet in each space around through the end of round nine. So go ahead and put one single crochet across and I'll meet you back at the end of round nine. All right, end of row nine, round nine. Go ahead and close that round. I'm going to slip stitch here, first space. Cut off the yarn so you have enough slack to sew your leg onto the body. Great. And yarn over and pull that through. Close it up. All right, so that is one leg. We are going to need to make a second leg, obviously. Again, follow either the note, the pattern in the note section below, or you can just rewind and repeat watching what we just did. And I will see you as soon as you're done making your second leg and we will go right into the little pom-pom that a pom-pom tail that goes on the back of the bunny. All right, now that we've finished all the body parts to the bunny, we are now on to the pom-pom tail. I personally prefer to use this pom-pom making tool. It is the smallest one in the group of four that I purchased, one and a half inches. If you make your pom-poms in another way, that's totally fine. Uh, just go ahead and make sure it is about one and a half inches in diameter so that it measures a really good length for that dimension on top of the stuffed animal bunny. If you have one of these cool contraptions, I got mine on Amazon, but you can buy yours wherever you wanna buy yours just a pom-pom maker. Just follow along. You can either do a single layer all the way across and then just keep layering up or you can just stay in one section until it's as bulky as you want it to be. The goal when you turn it this way is to not be able to see these sides anymore. You want to keep wrapping until the sides here are gone. You've covered them up completely. You'll see what that looks like in just a second. Great. So now when I look head on, you can't see those sides anymore. I'm gonna close that in with my yarn out this way, so that way I can just go straight into wrapping it around my next side. Together, so then it looks like a ball. Cut off our little slack right there. And then, with if you have one of these cool contraptions, if you go in this side right here, put your scissors right in the middle, and then you just start cutting. Mm 
and continue on to the other side. Okay, great. Finished that right there. It's all cut from all sides. Now we're going to grab our yarn. Get a good amount because what we're going to do with it is we're going to wrap it around the inside twice. I do it twice for that extra security. And then we also want to make sure there's enough tail left over to attach the pom pom to the bunny. So make sure that this length is a good length because we can always cut off the extras but unfortunately we it's difficult to add on if we need to so I just laid the yarn through that and I pulled it tight so that it went inside see like that there we go and tie a knot here all the way tight 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 what this is doing is it's taking all the yarn inside here and it is going to squeeze it together. So all of these little blades stay put and they don't just fly away. So yarn over, tie another knot. Tight, 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 tight. Okay. And then these last two, what these strings are going to do here is this is going to be what we're going to use to attach the pom-pom to the bunny. Okay. Perfect. Set that aside. And that is our pom-pom. Now it looks a little dysfunctional, right? There's pieces all over the place. That's okay. We're going to get rid of all of the messy pieces and anything that's just like super crazy. That's where we grab our scissors. So make sure you really like fluff it so that all of the areas, all of the holes kind of start to even out. Okay. And then where you start to see crazy little pieces, take your scissors and just start trimming. Now you're not going to want to be a super perfectionist on this because if we were to go super perfectionist, this ball would eventually dwindle down to nothing. Crazy perfectionist. I know this is difficult for me because I'm a big perfectionist. So I understand your pain here, people. Cool. All right. So like I said, there's going to be some pieces that are just crazy. Oop, that one is way out there. So turn off the ones that are way out there. But if there's just some that are a little off, there's gonna be a lot that are a little off. So it's okay. That's what's gonna be part of the fluff part, okay? Just give it a little fluff and that's, it's supposed to look like that. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we're going to start stuffing our bunny. Yay, so excited. 